Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we will be seeing how to create a very loud and a crazy video commercial which has a lot of visual effects using some amazing AI tools out there. The main one being Hicksfield AI, which is what you can see in front of you. This is creating a lot of commotion these days and rightly so, it's a very, very impressive tool. We'll also be using some other AI tools like ChatGPT AI, Ideogram AI and Kling AI. But before we get into this tutorial, let's have a look at this video. I have not added any audio to it right now, so this is just going to be the visuals. But towards the end of the video, I will also be telling you a neat little trick that you can use to add audio very, very quickly. So let's see these visuals first. All right, so you can see that that was pretty intense. So let's see the entire process involved in it. It's not that tough at all. So the first thing that I needed was I needed the different images which formed those scenes that you saw in this commercial. So this first image that I created was basically created inside uh, Ideogram AI and I was very, very happy with this image. And then I basically used ChatGPT to create the other images by referencing this particular image. For example, uh, for the sleeping one, I just went over to ChatGPT AI and just typed in, you know, by uploading the first image. Then I just said, okay, turn this woman into this scene where she's happily sleeping on a bed. And ChatGPT is getting pretty good at being consistent when it comes to the face. So that's how I created this image. Uh, that's how I also created... Uh, this image where she's just looking at the can at the end and also this flying image was uh, created in chat GPT. Now there was one issue which was that if you look at the can in this particular image and the can in this particular image, they are different cans. So I had to decide which one just for this example purpose was going to be our main can. So since in this particular image, the can was slightly, uh, the design was not that loud. I chose this one to be the main can. So we had a task here, which was to put this can over here before we could turn all these into videos. And for this, the whole process started off in Ideogram. So in a lot of my other tutorials, I have shown one of the great features inside Ideogram AI, which is the magic fill feature. And I use that to basically transfer this can over here. Now here I've already done it. I'm just quickly going to show you the entire process. It's very simple. Once you are on Ideogram AI, you're basically going to go. So let me just go back to the home page so I can show you this from the start. I've also shown this in a very detailed way in one of my other videos, product placement videos. If you haven't seen that, I will leave the link to that in the description. Uh, so you basically go over to the canvas feature and then we are going to upload both these images here. So let's do that. Right, so both the images are here. Now, what, what we are going to do with this top image is we just want the can here. So we can just use these handles to crop it like this. Very, very easy. And then just place it right next to this main image and just increase the size till the time it matches the height. And now we are all set. What we are going to do is we're going to hit this option that says magic fill and then we can use the lasso tool to just draw a mask around the area that we want uh, to be replaced. And you can see that is pretty easy. Let me just zoom in slightly. Okay, So this looks good. Then we are going to hit next. And what we need to do now is we just need to tell ideogram what is on the left here and then what is on the right. And this has to be really descriptive. So what you can do is you can go over to a website like image. Uh, prompt.org, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Just go to the image to prompt section and then just basically upload an image of this cropped version of only the energy drink can. So let's put it here and then just go down and hit generate prompt. It's going to give you this detailed description. We can just copy this and then go back to uh, ideogram here and we can just say on the left is and just paste this over Then go down here and say on the right is, for this one, we can just write it in one line, uh, professional shot of a model 
advertising and energy drink can. And the final thing you need to do before we can hit magic fill is that you just need to move this pink frame in such a way that it encompasses both your main object as well as the mask and make it as small as possible like this because the image that is gonna come is of a fixed resolution. So the smaller this frame is, the sharper your uh, short hair is gonna be or the replacement hair is gonna be. And just hit magic fill. And you're gonna see that just like magic, it's gonna get this can here. It's surprising that even in May 2025, we don't have any other AI tool which can locally edit and replace things like this, except for Ideogram's magic fill. And you can see that right in real time, we can see that this is gonna look pretty awesome. You can see not only does it replace the can, it just handles the lighting even in such a complex image really, really well. We actually get four variations, we don't need it, but if you wanna check the variations, you can just hit this frame again. And then on the right, you will see all the four variations. So this is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one, and this is the fourth one. I think this looks the best. So similarly, I had got uh, one of the variations that I really liked and when you that is the case, you can just hit the download button. Just set this frame according to the image so that it has everything and then just download it. Once that was the case, I had all the images ready with me. Now it was the time to move on to the main part, which was to actually create those videos with the effects. So let's head over to Hicksfield AI. All right, so this is Hicksfield AI. It's basically a video generation software and its main strength is that it allows you to add a lot of crazy camera movements or effects and the results are usually very good and not cheesy or cringe at all. Now, the only downside is that you, uh, so even though you can use Hicksfield for free after you create your account, you I think you only get around 12 to 15 credits. That means you can only generate one video on the free plan and that also takes a lot of time. I'm on the paid plan which costs $9 a month and there you'll get to generate a lot more videos. But right now, if you uh, for the generation part, you have to go to this option that says create, then you're gonna go into video and you can see I tried and played around a lot with it and how things work is that you basically first of all choose the kind of effect that you want here then you upload the image in that case in this case is going to be one of the frames the starting frame that we just created an ideogram and then you just give it a prompt and you generate the video so first of all I had to basically uh, you know choose the right effect so I was playing with a lot of effects so let me show you some of them if I go over here to effects they have a lot of crazy stuff which I do plan to cover in my future videos so make sure you subscribe so you can see like this punching effect is very popular these days on YouTube and you can turn yourself into metal this is the one that you saw in the video the thunder god one we're going to be using this one and the best part is you can actually combine two effects together and get a result that's what I ultimately ended up doing so again, if we go back to create and create video, let's start this process. First of all, we're gonna upload that frame right here. So now that our image is here, to choose the effect, you can hit this option that says change. And this is where it'll start to show you all the different effects here. So under Epic Camera Control, there was this uh, effect called, let me just type in out. And this was through object out which is basically it's going to zoom in or rather zoom out from your video and then create a completely new scene after it zooms out and that new scene is something that you can mention in the prompt so this was one of the uh, things that i had chosen you can just click on it and it's going to come here then there's this option that says mix so i wanted something more like she's drinking or she's just you know uh, use this energy drink and then there's like this electricity flowing in her body and for this so I hit this mix button and for the second one here I had gone under effects and there was this effect called as thunder god or something like that you can see this effect here and I basically clicked on it and then it was a mixture of this then I just typed in um, so the best part about the prompt is you really don't have to describe it uh, too much because there's this feature that says enhance the prompt so just leave it on and then you can just briefly describe what is happening in the image so again I just typed something like a female fitness model holding an energy drink can and when the camera zooms out remember because we're using this particular effect so you have to describe the next scene also uh, it changes into a scene where she's running on a track so I just written something like this and because enhance was on ultimately when I did click generate it actually changed the prompt to something way better which I'm just going to be showing you 
And that's about it. You just hit generate and you get the video. Like I said, if you are on a, if you're on a free plan, it's just going to take a lot of time and you'll just be able to do this, I think, just once. But let's see the uh, initial results that I started getting with this. So initially, I had not replaced this Canon ideogram because I was just trying things out. And I really liked the first result that it had given me when I used this. So this was the first result. And you can see it really, you know, makes it into a really detailed prompt, that enhanced feature. But you can see you get a result like this. So it has the, uh, you know, both the effects into the video. The only downside is right now, they only allow you to create a five second video. So I actually did this twice and I kind of took the running part from another video where actually it had given me a longer running duration and I had used both the videos together there uh, in the initial video that you had seen. But you can see I started to get some nice effects. I had used some other effects also. So this was again, just where it was zooming out, but I had not used Thunderstorm in it. So you can see this is what that uh, feature does if you just use it on its own. Uh, I had also used things like the explosion effect and just the Thunder God effect on its own. You can see here. So really like the effects here, you know, it just does it in a very realistic way. So there was this one where things explode a bit and I'd, I was really like, uh, I really like this one also. The only problem was towards the end, it also just messed up the subject. If somehow they kept this and they allowed us to only locally edit it and only keep this explosion you know, right behind her, so this would have been probably even uh, better. But then of course, ultimately after I had replaced that image inside ideogram, you know, I got, I started trying this again and in one of the images I did get uh, the kind of result I wanted here. Not in this one, probably I think this one. So again, this was a combination of through object out and I think in this one, it didn't zoom out. So sometimes it may not 100% work, okay? Sometimes it's a bit of a trial and error, but because a video only costs 10 credits, it's not such a bad thing. I think it was this one. Yeah, I think this worked really, really well. So once I did this, there's also a an effect in Higgs field call as the fly effect. And I used that with the image that I had shown you, which I had created inside chat GPT. And once you use that effect, I mean, I'm not gonna show it again because the process is exactly the same. Just type in those effects, you know, in the search bar, you can type flying, then you will be able to find that effect. Just put that particular frame. And again, just type a very basic prompt, like a woman flying through the clouds. And you can see here, this was the result. And again, this was also pretty good. So now at this point, I had all the uh, clips with the visual effects, uh, all those were ready. Just needed to create those last two uh, videos where she's on the bed and she's opening her eyes and also the very last scene where she's just smiling, looking at the can. For that, you, there's you know no need to use this kind of a software. So I just uh, went over to Kling basically. And if I go over to the videos, it was a pretty easy job. So let me just show you what I did there. So I've shown Kling a couple of times, so I'm not gonna show the entire process, but basically I use the frames feature. You upload the frame where she was sleeping and the prompt was very simple. Camera zooms in closer to the eyes of a woman who's sleeping with a smile and as she opens her eyes slowly. And you can see that this did a pretty good job. So Kling, if you provide it a good enough uh, image and a good enough prompt, it just does a pretty decent job. So just play this again. So she's just thinking about you know, what happened, like she was dreaming about that scenario. And then finally, uh, right at the end again, this was the last frame, camera zooms in closer to the energy drink can as the woman smiles looking at the can. And this was also pretty good. And finally, I put all this together inside Premiere Pro and this was the final result that I got. Like I mentioned, the only thing missing here was the sound. But in case you want to add the sound, 
Let me show you which tool you can use. So one of the tools that you can use for free is called InVideo AI, where you can create an entire voiceover along with music and a proper script. And you can create a video for free, which is going to have that sound and that voiceover, the music, everything. And then you just take the audio from it and put it along with your video. Now I have shown this process in a separate video, which was also a video where I created an energy drink commercial just like this one, but that one didn't have these many visual effects. But there I have shown this process in detail. So if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. I'll leave the link to that in the description. You can watch the uh, end part of that video where I have shown this part for the audio. All right, so in case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you want to follow along all my experiments in the image and video editing world, then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.